Hey guys, what I have here today is Shockwave Infrared. Now when I first saw this, I thought it was kind of funny because this is more of a uh, a pink or a purplish red than a violet, than a red itself. Uh, the can is pretty cool. It's got like a spiraled out design. I, I don't know, I just kind of thought that was weird that the can's infrared, it's supposed to be red and it's like some kind of pinky violet color. Um, yeah, so, alright, the taste overall, um, this started off pretty good. It, it started off like a uh, red fruit roll-up. Uh, I don't know if you've ever had that, but they're pretty good. And then it kind of took a turn. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever had any kind of cherry sodas, but they start off with really good flavor and really strong and you like them, but then they just kind of get flat, and it doesn't matter if you drink it all in five minutes. Once you get past halfway, it loses all its flavor. And that's kind of what happened here with the Shockwave. Um... I'm not going to complain, because it was like a dollar, so there's that. Um, I've had it in me for a good hour or so. Uh, I drank this a while ago. It um, doesn't really have much of a buzz. It kind of kept me more on point. Like I was more, I had more active responses, faster responses, so it kept me aware, but it didn't really give me much energy, um, whereas before I had this I was pretty tired. Um, Packaging's kind of cool. I, I, I like the design of the can personally, although I don't think it's going to fit very well with my um, other cans like the Mountain Dew cans or next to a Monster can. So that kind of conflicts, but it does have an alright package. You can't really see it too well because of the light and the way it is. Um, and I'm wearing a white shirt. Let me see. Oh, I'm wearing a white shirt. That's what it is. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but yeah, so that was that. I'd give the taste initially a seven or eight and then it kind of fizzled down to like a four or five um buzz it gave a decent on point kind of buzz so maybe like a five and a half uh the can i'd give it like a six because it looks cool but it doesn't mesh well with the other ones so that's today's uh shockwave now i'm sorry i haven't been putting up a lot of videos lately i've just been having a lot go on in my uh, personal life but that's gonna that shouldn't affect videos anymore because I'm gonna try and get back to this because I genuinely do love doing this. Um, I haven't played Call of Duty in a while either. The last two days, um, yeah, I haven't played much at all. I I made it to round 29 on Nuketown Zombies, and just to put that in perspective, that would have put me at about 1500th ranked overall. I played with Asian Boy 20, uh, the Gecko, and KSI Godfather, and we made it to 29. And it shows up as me only making it to 21 in the leaderboards, which really ticked me off because that was really just an awesome game. And when I went back to check the uh, new Zombies Theater mode, I had the 118 minutes of footage there to prove that I made it to 29, which is ridiculous that it doesn't show up in the leaderboards. So I'm going to have to call somebody about that because that pissed me off. But uh, that's why I've been back on Call of Duty because it just pissed me off so much. Um... I think when I left, my ballistic knife count was around 750 or something like that. Um, but that last day, I, don't, I played mostly zombies. So put that at about two two playing days worth, or two and a half playing days worth of ballistic knife kills. So that's not really bad. Um, I'm going to be trying to put up more videos of me playing on Black Ops 2 because I'd like to do that. It all kind of depends on theater mode. I don't know if you guys have the game or if you tried, but the theater mode's really, really, really shitty so far. Um, I've heard from a couple people that's because it's the initial launch, and once it, they start updating it, it should get better. So I'm just going to hope that happens, because I'd really like to start putting in footage of that. Um, but yeah, so that was the Shockwave interview, and I'm going to try to get you guys a few more inter uh, reviews this... Did I say interview earlier? Oh my god, I'm sorry. Review. Uh, I'm going to try and put up more reviews soon. Um, I think I have another Shockwave, and then I have the Rockstar, and a couple Javas. I've got a couple different things for you guys. And then there's going to be a couple showcasing videos. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. And, um, I saw this morning I was at 20 subscribers, and I was really just kind of shocked and overwhelmed. And this isn't the thank you video. The thank you video is going to be special for this one. But this is just my initial thank you to you guys for all your support, all you've done for me. I really, really appreciate everything you guys do. All the likes, all the comments, all the positive feedback. It just means a lot to me. It makes me keep doing this because, I don't know, it's just really nice. It's nice to sit down, make a video, and know that somewhere someone's going to enjoy it. And it just makes me happy. 
and I just appreciate all your continued support and everything you guys have done. So I'm going to leave that video here, and I will catch up with you guys later.